So the question is, what does it take to develop speed? Speed's the difference between being good and great in almost every sport. One tenth of a second faster or one tenth of a second slower is probably the difference between a scholarship offer and not. The drills we've incorporated in this course absolutely move you to a next level. They take you and they teach you the correct form, the correct positions in order to improve your speed. This drill is great for young athletes that find it difficult to hold this drive position, as we call it. All of your change of direction drills are determined in terms of how good they are by where the hip is in relation to where the foot goes into the ground. It's really easy to go out there and do a bunch of reps the wrong way, and you've done a bunch of work, but it hasn't done any good for you. Jacob said he stretched his hip flexor a lot in high school, but he never made it strong. And you can tell that because when he sprints, the knee drives to here and it stops and the lower leg drifts out here. In game scenario, in game situations, there's not a thought process, there's a reaction process. The, the athlete has to be able to react and muscle memory has to take over. I'm not a baseball coach, right? I've never stolen second, but I do know speed and the positions we run in create speed. No athlete that can be elite in their level, whether that's a high school athlete, a college athlete, a professional athlete, if they're hurt. The further out you get, the further you put joints at risk where the center of mass is not over the top. This is the same thing for every sport that's not a straight line sport. Soccer player, lacrosse player, football player, basketball player. Ultimately, that first step makes the biggest difference you follow the course and build your way through it, progress your way through the course and build that into, hey, let's find the right positions, let's learn first and then work hard, then you can be truly faster than you are currently.